In the early days, the teams that competed for Birmingham Southern Glory were known simply by their colors. But in 1916, during a football game against Spring Hill, an anonymous spectator bestowed a nickname that would stick. Those boys from Birmingham look like a pack of Panthers. The game ended in a shutout, and a legend was born. Over the next century, the Birmingham Southern Panthers bested Tigers, Mountaineers, Wildcats, and especially the Howard College Bulldogs. And as the college's athletic star rose, so did the myth of its mascot, a sleek black cat whose power and influence were not limited to the playing field. Oh, the Panther, he's famous. He landed on the moon, right? I heard my grandmother saw him at Woodstock. I heard it was really into disco. What's disco? I think someone said he was at the Berlin Wall. Rowdy's so popular, he even scored an invite to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. But even with his worldwide fame, the Panther always felt something was missing. A name. Yes, so it was uh, fall of 1980. was walking across campus, went into Snavely Student Center, which is what it was called at the time, and noticed that there was a contest to uh, name the mascot, the Panther. This could be easy and fun, and best of all, there was a cash prize, and I was perpetually broke. And the thing that came to my mind right away was the name Rowdy because, for one thing, there was a, a swimmer at the time who was going into the Olympics and doing really well, Rowdy Gaines. And so I always thought that was a cool name. So I, that's what I chose, dropped it in the box, and forgot all about it, and went on about my dull day. I didn't even go to this basketball game where they announced the winner of the contest, but I was walking across the campus at night. Somebody had just left the game and yelled across the quad to me, hey, guess what? You won the contest to name the the Panther. Over over time, uh, I was I was kind of impressed uh, to learn that the name stuck. And with the name Rowdy, I don't know. It's it's kind of a cool way to leave a little bit of a legacy. So I'm really proud of that. And so in 2020, we celebrate the 40th birthday of Rowdy, a century plus of Panther pride and the promise of Panthers to come. <laughs>